happy Saturday. How's everyone doing? I've got my DIY clothes on. Basically, I'm going to do it outside so I don't get too hot. But I haven't worn stripes in a very, very long time. So I don't know how I feel about these. But anyway, so first things first, I need to clean the vases and the different things that I'm going. Oh, hello. Right, this went there. And the different things that I'm going to paint. And I need to clean them using sugar soap. If you are new to DIY like me, I had no freaking idea what that was, but it's this. Picked it from Screwfix, it was like two, three pounds, really like inexpensive, but it's the concentrated version. So I need to quickly whip up a uh, diluted version of this. So I'll just try and find like a spare spray bottle. And then I also picked up some Gorilla Glue. Um, seen this on TikTok quite a bit. This was only, I think, seven pounds, but I'm gonna be using this when I eventually go and buy my Rassan webbing, which I'm planning on nipping to the garden center today. I'm gonna persuade my housemate to come with me, buy her a coffee, because I want her to kind of help me. She's a bit of a DIY guru, and she's a lot more creative than I am. I've got like one, two, three projects to do today. Um, so yeah, I just wanna get started and hope you enjoy. So all I did was I basically just filled um, a little bit in the bottle full of the concentrated sugar soap. Um, I think I kind of guessed this, I wasn't really sure, I probably should have looked at the instructions a bit more, but um, hey ho. Then I filled it with warm water and just gave it a little bit of a shake. So the purpose of this product is to clean anything that you're going to paint so that when you paint onto it it's a really clean surface. So I just picked up the vases from Facebook Marketplace, they were £5 each, uh, such a bargain. I just rinsed them out, made sure there's no dust or anything inside, just to get them prepped and primed, ready to paint. So then I cleaned the vases using the sugar soap, just with a warm cloth, and I did put gloves on because it did say not to get it on your skin, so just be mindful of that when you buy this stuff, that you should protect yourself when using it. Um, and I just cleaned them until I was ready just to kind of get them all ready for painting. Then I just put them in the sun to dry. So next I moved on to cleaning the storage unit. So this unit I also got from Facebook Marketplace, would you believe? Uh, it was only £20, it was an absolute steal. Just for some additional space just to store our many, many shoes. So just give this a quick wipe down and yeah, got ready for it to be painted. So just whilst I wait for my project one to dry, I moved on to project two. So project two is uh, sorting out my bedroom. Now I'm going to paint these IKEA drawers black and put some rattan webbing on the top drawer. So I just had that nice, a lovely job of emptying the drawers and bringing them downstairs. And again, just my little storage unit that I keep all my makeup in. I'm actually going to spray this one black as well, just to really bring out a bit of a monochrome vibe into my room. At the moment, it just feels way too clinical with all this white. So I wanted just to give you a quick look of what they look like before I go in and paint them all. So project two is to spray paint um, my old lampshade and my little storage drawers. Get a wig on because I've got to be somewhere in a bit of it. So. so, to begin with, I just cleaned everything down and just made sure I removed any excess dust and just prepped it ready for it to spray paint. What I would say is definitely spray away, so basically, spray away from the wind, so wherever the wind blows, it's not going to spray back on you. I was so scared to use this, but um, it, it's not too bad. It did, it did kind of obviously make the grass black. But um, what I would also advise is take your time with it. Don't kind of spray it too quickly. Kind of spray it in um, stages and just make sure you get all the spots because what you don't want is you to feel like you've done it, but actually if you look at it, you might miss a patch because sometimes it can come out a little bit patchy. With the drawers, these, these were actually really difficult to do. 
I actually had to um, spray paint these twice. I left them overnight to dry. Um, I ended up running out of this can and having to go out and buy another one, but it wasn't it wasn't too expensive to pick up. I think you can get it for like ten pounds because of the. Um, fumes of the actual spray paint what I would suggest is that you leave them overnight somewhere not in the house so we actually left it with, in the bathroom but also in the garage as well if you've got one or maybe a shed that we do. start painting that and then when I go and get the black paint I'll start on the door so hopefully they'll just dry and sink. And then the pan is while they're drying I'm going to go back and turn and move them over around and give it a paint so that when the drawers go back in once they're painted the room's all in the layout that I want. Because you meet your friend for the pleasure of the day and he's going to supply me with the paint which is really kind of him. Either way. So while the pan is drying I'm going to start I'm actually going in with the Valspark paint in the shade Oyster Shell. Uh, I actually got it from B&Q. Uh, such a beautiful colour. Now it's actually inspired by a blogger called Home of Shade. She has the most amazing home account and does so much of her own DIY. So I was truly inspired by her and the paint is such a good quality. I was so impressed with how it came out. I did do a couple of coats, um, dried so quickly so I was able to do it kind of like all in one day. <laughs> on the storage unit and we got about halfway and then I went to go and grab some black paint but we did it in the same colour as the vases and it just came out so nice and you'll of course see that in another clip. I hope I don't regret this. Imagine it just like really shit. <laughs> you can't really go wrong with black, you can't see the streaks. Oh, I see. It smells like Oh. Looks like tar and all. So at this point I didn't actually realise I was applying rust paint to my IKEA drawers. He'd given me the wrong paint, bless him. I felt so bad having to tell him but we had a DIY disaster on our hands and we didn't even know it. Look at me. So we've just realised that this is also, it's dried a little bit more matte, I think. I don't know, like, we're just worried that this is gonna dry a bit too glossy. And I am a little bit nervous about that. But then, does that look matte to you? That little section there? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I just think it's gonna be harder to paint by the looks of it. Like it's, but maybe that's because it's black on a white. So you do need a couple of. Well, yeah, I'm gonna need a couple. Yeah. So the term I've absolutely fucked it doesn't need to be used just yet. So guys, I've had a DIY disaster and I wouldn't be me if I didn't tell the truth. I don't like the way that this has come out. It's it's like too glossy. It looks alright on camera, but in person I'm not really a fan. So I'm now gonna have to sand it all off, start again, and I'm gonna use this paint. Quite it's quite a good paint. It's Raspal. It's the same paint that I've used on on that. So that's gonna be a bit of a matte black. So I've got a lot of work to do and then I've bought another um, spray paint black to finish off my drawers today, which they'll be done today, which I'm not worried about that. So I'm gonna down this coffee and crack on. So I actually nipped back to being cute and picked up some sandpaper just so I could actually just sand the drawers down just to give it a bit of a grip so that when the paint went on it actually stuck to it. So in the end I actually used the Vaspa paint, it was the wood and metal paint in the shade La Planca uh, and the code was W35D. It came out such a beautiful colour, it was the colour that I was looking for in the beginning and yeah, no regrets on messing up because I think you can learn from that.
Paint the frame itself uh, took me a couple of coats and just to get all the little bits at the bottom as well I ended up using a smaller brush but just to actually base it I just used a roller and that was the most efficient way and it gave it a really smooth finish so I was really happy with that but the drawers did take me a little bit longer. So the unit is done and it is such a stunning colour and the storage unit is also complete and you can see as well it's such a beautiful colour. So the last thing to do was the drawers, um, that took me a couple more days. The last drawer that I did was the top drawer, now this drawer it was going to be used to apply the rattan webbing so I made sure that I taped over the glass so I didn't want to get that paint on it. So I finally got my hands on some rattan webbing and it wasn't too expensive, I'm going to leave a link in in the description box below about where I got, about I got it from. Um, when it arrived you do have to soak it for a good four hours just to make sure it actually stretches out because what I didn't know about rattan webbing is that when you apply it you must apply it when it's slightly damp. Now to cut it and shape it I measured it to the size that I needed and then as you can see I cut along the trimmings and just trim the edges to the shape that I needed. My advice is to always put something down because the shavings from the rattan just kind of went everywhere so I was really happy that I had this down. So this was the tricky bit, getting it like absolutely perfect so it's slotted inside the glass so you can kind of see there's almost like it's slightly lifted where the glass is set back from the rest of the drawer. So having this to fit to the size of the drawer was a little bit tricky and took a little bit longer than what I wanted. I was being a bit impatient. At but however, here comes my second DIY disaster. Are you ready? So in the beginning of the video, I showed you the Gorilla Glue that I picked up and it was wood glue. We applied it like this and we left it for a couple of hours and it just didn't stick. Like it just wouldn't stick. So I ripped it off, I started again and I nipped a screw fix and I picked up the adhesive glue, which I would strongly recommend, excuse the pun, So we're going in, <laughs> we had WAP on, wrong time then. We're going to go in with this because the other glue just wasn't working so I took off the rattan and we're going to start again. So yeah, I'm not, I'm absolutely fine, I'm not stressed at all, it's not Friday night and I all I want to drink, it's absolutely fine, I'm going to be fine. At this point I was just so relieved how much easier it was and it literally stuck straight away. Yeah, I was a bit apprehensive to use it, but it worked a treat and I would strongly recommend researching a little bit more and buying the right glue. Definitely a lesson learned for me. So this was the finished product of the drawer. I was so happy. Like I remember just sitting there staring at it going, I did this. So here's my before and after, just some really simple things that I did and there's the vase that I painted, look how stunning it looks. I'm really really happy with how it turned out, there's a few more bits left to do, just some really little bits like decor and stuff but I'm so happy with the little projects that I did and you know what, it feels fab knowing that I did it myself as well.